Hey YouTube, Ben here for another episode of, I guess, Ben Saturday. That's not a very good name for a segment, but let's go with it. Um, so I'm not sure how many of you are Jon Stewart fans, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Um, I personally am. I watch it just about every night. Um, and there's something I'd like to talk about uh, with kind of what he touched on on Thursday's episode. Um, there's a link down below. Um, what he does is he takes his footage, he takes his ideas and backs them up with footage of people saying these things that either they didn't say or did say or think they didn't say. Um, which is just something, it's good journalism in general and now he's doing it with, you know, comedy that everyone's watching. So it's kind of bringing news to people that wouldn't normally watch, like you and me, except for me because I watch news. Um, so he just kind of finds the common sense in things and he makes it funny so it's more appealing to a wider audience. Um, one thing he was talking about was the James Zargruda 9-11 Health and Compensation Act. This bill would provide over seven million dollars in medical monitoring, monitoring and treatment to responders, uh, recovery, cleanup, and community members suffering as a result of the 9-11 attacks. Or by closing a corporate tax loophole. It's a win-win-win-win. Just do it! <laughs> You might be saying, let's do it, it's obvious, and so does the Senate and the House of Representatives. Except, the Republicans like this cool thing called a filibuster, and they are making it impossible to get this bill passed for reasons that I don't even understand. But, it is what it is. Um, let me see what I have in my scripty thingy over here. Um, <laughs> Um, one of the things he pointed out is how none of the major news networks covered it. They cover everything else. They covered Stupid Balloon Boy, for crying out loud, and they didn't cover this bill at all. I didn't know about it. Very few people in the public knew about it, unless they were magically all newsy. Um, he also pointed out how Fox News has been using 9-11 as a selling point for advertising and this and that, but he didn't use it to promote, but Fox News rather didn't use it to promote this, uh, bill. So, the point is that, well, first of all, I hope you all know a little bit more about it now, and I highly suggest you watch the episode. Um, but he did something really cool also. He brought on four responders to tell their stories about 9-11, and about how they desperately need this health coverage-ness, awesomeness, uh, that would be provided by the bill that the House and the Senate agree on. But, nope, still a Senate filibuster. Uh, what he's doing, Jon Stewart is essentially what I'm going to call the fifth estate. And, um, we... There's really three real estates, which is the three branches, the judicial branch, the executive branch, and Congress. Except, um, what we've added is sort of a fourth estate, which is the media, basically. Uh, a lot of people consider that like a watchdog group to kind of be the fourth check and balance. Um, I'm going to consider Jon Stewart the fifth estate, because he is doing something that none of the others are doing right now in a way that's awesome and appealing to the public. Um, that is just about it. Uh, so what do you think about um, John Stewart in general, the bill, ice cream, ice cream flavors perhaps, uh, favorite kitchen utensils? Let me, know. Let me know down below. That is it for this episode of Ben Saturday. I uh, hope you all have a good week and I will see you right back here next week, although I'm going to be in another country. So I don't know what's going to happen. Bye.